Hi, Samantha. I think you sent your question in on our blog. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, you want to answer? Sure. I'm just starting out with photography, is what Samantha says, and I'm really into portraiture. Me too. But I would really like to get into band shots and concert shooting. I have an SLR. What tips do you have for people like me? Also, what do you think is the best way to get myself out there? <laughs> Ooh, that's, well, there's a lot of questions in there, aren't there? Um, well, obviously, as far as taking portraits, and you're taking band portraits, if you're trying to take shots at a concert, it's not really a portrait portrait. It's really about capturing the moment. It's about um, a scene. And so I think it's always very important to sort of understand the kind of lighting that they're going to have. It's always going to be quite extreme, and you're going to have all kinds of backlighting. You kind of have to go with it. You know, and take lots and lots of pictures. A great um, photographer to check out his work is a guy called Mick Rock. He takes some of the best band and, and um, music photography ever. His shots of Lou Reed are extraordinary. And half the time, if you look at the pictures, you, they almost look like mistakes. They look like exactly what you wouldn't want to do. Um, but that's because he, it's, it's not about getting it right always. You know, sometimes getting it right is wrong. And you know, and it's the imperfections that make something so fantastic and yeah. so unique and so individual, and help give a photographer their style. And someone like Nick, Mick, uh, Nick Mick Rock and and myself too, when I'm taking those sorts of photographs. Now I don't really do yeah. shots out of the crowd of people and bands and that kind of stuff, but I love the, the look of those kinds of pictures. But it's about working with the light, and the light's changing. One moment they're lit with a red light, and next moment they're out and they're in a spotlight. The next moment they're diving into the crowd and talking to someone, and they're just a silhouette. You have to be ready for all those things. So know your camera very well, know how to move in between all the functions as quickly as possible, and really you're going to have to come second nature. It's like driving a car. You can't forget where all the gears are. You can't forget where the brake is all of a sudden. You've got to be on it. And it's, got to, it's second nature to you. So learn your camera in that, that situation. As far as self-promotion, you just got to get out there and do it. Start publishing your stuff. Start putting them on websites. Um, don't listen too much to everyone's critique. You've got to like what you're doing. It doesn't matter what other people think, quite frankly. That's my opinion. You know what? People love to get everyone else's opinion. Love your own work, and then everyone else will love it too. You know, as, a, as an artist, you have to be, I think, really passionate to take the leap to try and get into an industry like this. So, really, it's about Absolutely. following your heart. It is. It's, 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 very, it's, it's actually quite vocational, bizarrely enough. Hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that photography's been a hobby for so many for so long. And now with the sort of digital era really taking grip, everyone's a photographer. You know, who doesn't have a camera? Who doesn't take a good shot? It's, it's put a lot of guys out of work, you know, because everyone's there with their digital sure. camera taking a shot sure. and taking fantastic pictures. Um, but I think ultimately to make it into a profession, to really take it there, you have to live and breathe it. And, you know, go to every concert there is and don't just go to the concerts try to work out where you know to sort of see get behind the scenes get behind the stage and, and see these people in their natural environment taking a down moment having a drink of water don't think that any single shot isn't important it's often the in-between moments that are really truly genius very good so stick with it Samantha keep taking those pictures